Hey everybody, it's Omega, and welcome back for some more Sonic Lost World. And yeah, baby's barking. <laughs> baby's barking in the kitchen because my brother and my dad is watching a cool music video. Well, anyway, in the last part, we did Twilight Windy Hills, not Twilight Hills. Zone 1, and we've done the time attack mode, A rank, and the normal mode. This part, we're going to do Zone 2 and the, doing the normal mode and the time attack mode. So, here we go. Transformation 101 Bunnies to Badniks. An army. It needs to be a big army if I'm taking over the world below. You are quite the mighty conqueror. Yes, yes I am. I conquered you, didn't I? And with your help, I'll not only rule the world, I'll finally destroy that blue nuisance, Sonic. Eggman wants the little hedgehog destroyed. <laughs> yeah, well, I feel like destroying something. That's what I like about you, Zaz. Always ready for a fight. Even before you know what you're fighting. <laughs> you bet! Bring it on and I'll rip it up! <laughs> Win or lose, I learned something about our enemy. I wanted to know who that was. That's the first boss. The first boss name is Saz. Yes. Those six guys that you saw were mysterious. But who they were, or what they were, they were called Zeddies. What are Zeddies, you may ask? Nasty, thi nasty and rare things. That controls anything. Eggman conquered them. I didn't know if Zad was talking to them. Anyway. I'm gonna have to bring in my A game if I wanna mop the floor with this funny butt! Okay, he was talking. I was interrupting. Sorry. I had no idea. Oh, yeah. So, anyway, Zeddies are bad. Are bad things, very rare, that can control anything, and then Eggman conquered them so that they wouldn't do that. Well, anyway, this is a new color. It is called Indigo Asteroid. It's the weird Wii U gamepad. It's actually a pretty fun thing to do. Oh yeah, you can actually grab it. So anyway, Asteroid is a pretty cool thing to do. Let's see. But anyway. Other than that. I... I never thought you'd see her as far. We may get to tangle after all! I know where the fourth red ring was. Oh, whoops. Lost rings. Anyway. So... Zaz... Oh dang it, I was going to talk about something. So, what was going to happen on Kirby 64 at the end, is that in the ending, I would be able to beat the second phase of the final boss, the final boss's name being Zero. I'm almost to the boss, so that's why I'm going to I'm just 
just talking about some stuff. Uh, well, let me just talk to you about how you beat that. You have to beat the yellow thing first. And then Zaz, Zaz start charging into you. He's actually very easy to beat, but... You were lucky this time! I don't know. I... I am not talking much. But anyway, that's the normal mode, and now I'm going to do time attack mode. What was supposed to happen in Kirby 64 ending was that I would beat the first phase of the final boss, and it would show the credits, but it would be the good end. If you want to see the rest of that game, then watch another YouTuber play it because I lost the game. So, and also, yeah, that was it. So now I'm going to do time attack mode of zone 2. I'm going to go fast. I didn't even earn S rank here. I don't care if I get hurt. We may get to tangle after all. Yeah, I'm gonna get an extra rank, I hope. Beat down Tad! So that yellow thing is supposed to shoot stars, but it's not. <laughs> Come on! I beat him hard enough. Stick in the hedgehog! It's A rank. I got an A rank on time attack mode. So. Windy Hill. That was pretty short. That was probably because I was I wasn't pretty well I wasn't really wasting my time on anything. But anyway, Zone 3 is the next one. And I'm going to do that in the next part. If you like this video, like like and comment in the description below. And subscribe if you haven't already. See you guys next time. Bye.